Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. This box is so heavy. So this is the box. These are pillows. And I don't want to, I'm gonna to try to be careful when I slip the tape, but I don't know if that's I got to slip the tape from up here. Do not open with sharp instrument. Well, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to share these. I was contacted by um, a company and this is Bafodi or Bafode Home. Um, they do sell on Amazon. I am going to just lift this up. So I'm not like I'm lifting the corner up so that I don't puncture anything. I don't know if there's a protective. A lot of times there's a protective piece of cardboard. But there is. So, you know, they, which is always nice. I'll show it to you. They always, when there's something like that, they put a piece of cardboard here. So that when you go to slit, you get this instead of what's inside. We'll just toss that on the floor. So this company reached out to me and I'm like, absolutely. And I probably say no to 80%, especially from Amazon, because it's not something that I would ever, ever, ever. And I just knocked that camera. I'm so sorry. Whatever use. So I'm, I'm not the type just to say yes to every single thing. And you see it on this channel and every day is an Amazon review or, uh, you know, this or that. That's not me. And if it's how you choose to do your channel, go for it. You know, what you do is your business. What I do is mine. But I turn down probably 80% or better of people that contact me. Do you want to, you know, get a free product or, you know, some are paid, some are not. And to do a review. I had one company one time. It was one tiny product and they wanted me to do a YouTube video. And I was like, no, thank you. Like, I can't waste my time doing that, you know, like give me something substantial or multiples and I'll think about it. But I didn't even have to think twice with this company because, oh gosh, oh, knocking everything. I'm trying to get these out. I'm going to have to let them hit the floor, I think. Oh, roll separately. I just knocked my little sunflower. Oh, my sunflowers have super special meaning these days let me show you how they're come packaged so they come packaged like this individually wrapped we have to open them these are like vacuum sealed um i don't know if i should use scissors uh, i think i could use my knife just to be careful like my last famous words be careful as i slit the pillow so these have to obviously acclimate and fluff up a little bit. So hopefully by the time, oh, I don't know about you, but I, so this is, these are queen pillows. So these have to fluff, oh, see, and I didn't want to do that because I just hit that with my lipstick. Oh, now I'm going to, and makeup. Ugh. So these are queen pillows. And they are gusseted pillows. So this is starting to fluff out. I'm not going to open the second one. They're gusseted. I find that these are way more comfortable rather than this the one seam. I think they support you better. I think they mold to you better when you're sleeping. And they're gusseted all the way around. All sides. And I'll show you what I just did. Where is it? That pillow hit my face. <laughs> got lipstick and makeup on it um which i will you know take care of so while this is fluffing out i'm not going to open this one right now just because i don't know about anybody else but i am not sleeping on this directly from the package i wash them um you know you don't know i mean i know they're wrapped and it, it's under your head I, I suggest you wash pillows before you use them i mean do you wash your sheets before you put them on your bed when you get brand new ones or do you put them straight on your bed? I mean, it's all preference. My preference is to wash before I use these. And now I'm going to have to like treat that because I hit it. So you can see this is lofting up pretty nice. Getting, you know, which, you know, any, and this is these, oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you some information. These are feather pillows. I have feather pillows and prefer them. They're not for everybody. And I understand that. So. Um, and I did get queen. They have standard queen and king. 
I think you absolutely have to try these because I, the quality, I can feel the quality on the outer cover, which is 100% cotton, very soft, um, feels nice, and I am very particular when it comes to pillows. Um, I, you know, usually you get a set of two, uh, you know, I have purchased them and passed them on or returned them or just sucked it up and kept them. Right now, my dogs are laying on pillows because, you know, you buy pillows and you're like, eh, I don't really like them. So I put it like with the dog beds and under blankets for the dogs. They love pillows. Um, I do have some printed information here because I didn't want to forget to tell you anything. These are 10% goose down and 90% feather, straight feather. And the goose down is, you know, goose feather. So, you know, these are wonderful when it comes to that. They're, like I said, 100% cotton, reinforced seams so the feathers don't poke out at you and if you're concerned with a feather pillow or any pillow you can put like a zip case on these and get them on amazon fairly cheap um, i've never had an issue because this is a thicker piece for the ends of the feathers poking out and sticking you in the side of the face or the neck or anything like that this seems like i said this is lofting up beautifully as you can see i just hit my face again but I will spot treat that immediately and then I they're going to go in the wash today because I want to sleep on them. They feel like I'm leaning on them, that they're compacting nicely, but not flat. So when you go to lay on it, you can crunch it and have it fit you, which is, you know, the, what I love about a feather pillow. Do I have regular pillows that are not feather absolutely not everyone in my home i think i'm the only one that likes feather pillows i think in my entire family i don't think anybody likes them but me and i've always had feather pillows um you can like i said i'm going to be laundering these you can machine wash them in cold water and tumble dry on low until thoroughly dry the feather could take a little bit longer uh, because you're using low heat you're not using a high heat um but you know usually a normal dry cycle is, you know, 30 minutes. They're pretty good. You could always just, you know, if you have a nice day, you know, put them out and let them air dry if that's what you choose to do or let them air dry from the start and then throw them in the dryer, you know, for 10 minutes at the end just to fluff them up. I always, when I change my bedding, my pillows, they don't get washed every time I change my bedding, but my pillows always, all of them, regardless of what the interior is made of, Always go in the dryer for 30 minutes on high heat. You know, let's face it, there are little gnats and all kinds of, not gnats, you know, what are the mites and all that stuff. It's disgusting, but you know, they they do get around your bed and your bedding. Um, so my pillows every time go in the dryer, high heat, 30, sometimes 40 minutes, depending on what I feel like. Um, it just freshens them up. You know, put a fresh dryer sheet in there, it freshens them up. Um, and any kind of, you know, be bed mites or, you know, not necessarily bed bugs, but you need them little mites sometimes. I've never seen them, but they're micro, so you're not really going to see them. Just, you know, you're washing your sheets in hot water and the dryer and anything, you know, it takes care of all that. You know, we slough dead skin, so it gets in the bed, you know, and I have a dog that sleeps with me. So, you know, that kind of stuff all gets the heat treatment to you know sanitize and keep it clean so you can wash and dry these all pillows comply with what they're calling rds which is the responsible down standard so i guess there are standards for the you know the filling with the feathers on amazon these can be found um i did check the other day their ratings are like 4.4 4, um which is not bad for pillows you know pillows are you know obviously preference um, but I think these are great, great value. Um, also, pillows can be very expensive. They offer standard queen and king. I did get queen. Um, you know, I see people, and I have in the past, do reviews for pillows, not necessarily this company. And you can clearly see they have a full-size bed. It's not even a queen. It's a full-size bed. But they get the king pillows. Well, just because they offer them, doesn't mean you have to take them when you're doing a review and sharing them on your channel. I have a queen. I got queen pillows. Could I have gotten king pillows? Yeah, I want. I don't have king pillowcases, and they're not going to fit my bed. They're going to be too big. I, you know, some people, I, I, I have to laugh. 
So let me tell you, the standard, and you get two. The one I just opened and this one, which I will open um, and launder. The standard is $47.99 for the two. They come well packaged. You saw Now, they came in a bigger outer box. I got rid of that for recycling and just kept that box. But they also have a coupon on the Amazon site that you can save 20% off of that. So, you know, is it $9 you save? $8, $9. So about $40 then for pillows. That's not bad. Queen is $49.99. And the coupon that they're offering on Amazon is 30% off of the Queen. And King size is $52.99. And they're offering a 20% off coupon on Amazon right now if you are interested. Like I said, you know, I know pillows are a preference. I do prefer gusseted. I do have... I don't know if I can show you. You all know what a standard. This is here. Just, this is one of Oreo's pillows right here. Just a standard, you know, seam. These are old, actually really old feather pillows that I have, you know, for Oreo. She, you know, I just give her two of my pillowcases, whatever. But I prefer the gusset. I just find them way more comfortable regardless of how you sleep whether you're a back sleeper i find them way more comfortable if i have to lay on my back i've been finding lately that that seems to be the best for me right now i think i fractured a rib or pulled a muscle oh so like trying to lay on my side is nearly impossible and laying on the other side is not great either so i've been like flat which is not a good position either but it's the one that i can sleep in so i think gusseted or and i do have gusseted pillows on my bed now much more support like shoulder and head that way these like i said very moldable to how you want them or not um they they're not compressing all the way down which is nice and i think the tags do tell you um and these come from ontario canada nice let me see Machine wash, cold separately, gentle cycle, do not bleach, do not iron. I don't know. Please tell me nobody irons a pillow. Oh, my goodness. Tumble dry low until thoroughly dry. And then it has the standard. What does this say? Oh, Ecotex standard 100. I don't know what that is. A little tag. But I'm happy to have these. I know they're going to be wonderful. I can tell by the feel, uh, you know, like we should all be at this point, pillow aficionados. We know what we like. We know what we don't like. And I love pillows like this. So I'm going to be washing these and one other video I'll pop in and let you know what I think and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put that to the side. I can't believe it touched my lipstick and my makeup. I also did a little other shopping on Amazon that I wanted to real quick share a few things. Now that, you know, fall is upon us, I picked up a pair of slippers. I love slippers that have the rubber bottoms. I just think they last longer. And these are from Home, um, Home Top. I couldn't read it. I was like, what does that say? Home Top. Just a cute little slip-on, you know, has the little tab. Nice memory foam insole, you know put your foot in cute little design so i got that and you know just a different design and then i got the same company home home top and these are a size six so these were the small just a navy pair and and the design is different it's just a standard piping the, with the memory foam they're so comfortable of course i tried them on i haven't worn them yet i want these for the winter time because i i think i only have two pairs of slippers and i go through slippers I wear them all the time when I'm in the house. I rarely have sneakers on or anything like that. I always have my slippers on. I have them on right now. I want to be comfortable if I'm in my home. I'm, I don't want to be in sneakers. And I have very comfortable Skechers. But so I got two pair. And I think they were like $15, $16, something like that when I ordered them. Cute little bottom design. So for, you know what, for the winter time coming up, I'm going to just toss this. A little bit of a haul. Also... And which I think is a good a good idea. I, you know, losing weight. You lose weight in your fingers. Your feet get smaller. All that kind of stuff. So you lose weight in your fingers. Well, a lot of my jewelry does not fit my rings. They're floating around, spinning on my finger. They're just too big. They're flying off. So I ordered some ring adjusters. 
Now, this one, and they were cheap. They were under $10, but you know what? I'll have them and put them, take them on and off, you know, if your finger size changes. So these right here, which I thought were interesting, are little, I don't I'll have to get a bigger one so you can see it. Depending on the size of your ring and like the band, they're just little clear plastic that you put inside the ring that goes against your hand. Let me, so like if this is your finger, oops, of course I'm going to drop it. Like you would put it there in the ring and then when you, <laughs> I keep, it keeps on wanting to fall off. Um, I can do it on this side so you can see right here. Obviously underneath though. So you put the ring on top, like you slip this on the ring so that when you put your hand in, I should get a ring and show you, but I don't have one that I can do it with right now. So then it, go, it rests under your finger. These do not want to stay. And these are going to be difficult for you to see right here. And then it just <laughs> keeps up. They, they're slippery. They're a little plastic. And these are like plastic but pliable. They're not going to snap on you. They will move. So that was a different type. And this is, and it gives, comes with a little polishing cloth. And these are Lickamar ring size adjuster. Um, you get eight of them. Like I said, six, seven dollars. I don't even think they were that much, to be honest. And you get, like I said, eight of them, all different sizes. Um, I did try on my, you know, one set and works fine, but I took it off because I wanted to try the new ones that I just got. So these are those right here. And then I ordered these because I figured, well, let me try something different that is, you know, so this comes in a little plastic case. I don't know how this opens. So I'll figure that out right now. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So this is what this looks like. I, I don't want it to fall out. So the up. Oh, so it did anyway. So these are little, like, it almost reminds me of like the phone cords, the old phone cords. And you just like, there's an end to start it, and you would like wrap it around, and then if you only need a tiny little bit, you just cut it off, and that's then on the back of your finger on the ring. So you're not going to feel it, but it's going to tighten the ring down so that it's not all over the place. And it looks like there's different different kinds in here. I don't know if you guys can see that little different kinds, different thicknesses and thinness. That's interesting. And you can see what I'm talking about at the bottom here, how you put it around your ring. You guys see that? I think that's ingenious and it just goes around. It's nice. And, it it's, doesn't bother uh, your hand at all. I've done these in the past. So it fits ring width one millimeter to six millimeters. You get 12 of the longer pieces in this pack. I like the case on this one better. So, and like I said, these were, and this, you know, it's still in a little place bag, but you can see them all in there. I like these too. Like nothing fits my, I think there's one or two rings that I like to wear that still fit my finger that won't get over the knuckle. But if I go to move my hand, my rings are flying in off my finger and flying across a room. Well, one, I'm damaging stones, um, and you could lose your ring that way, like not be paying attention, and, and especially with the winter coming, your fingers shrink a little bit. Everything's not going to fit. Like, the few that do fit are not going to fit. So I wanted to make sure I had some different styles because I don't know which one I'll love the best. I haven't tried the, these ones out just yet because these just arrived. I like the other ones. They fit nice, and they come right off. They're not permanent, and you can take these right off too. Nothing is permanently on there. Like I was thinking about having my bands and stuff soldered, but they're still it's still gonna move because you know your center stone is a little bit heavier because it's too big. Paying to have things sized, ugh, it's expensive. And I'm not always trusting with jewelry, taking it into a jeweler, so I'd rather keep it myself. Get something like this, it's way cheaper, solves the problem. Rings and, and stuff are not out of my sight. Um so that I did a little Amazon haul with the pillows that were sent to me. So highly suggest these pillows. They look awesome. I know I'm going to love them. I don't even have to worry about that. And I, like I said, I highly suggest you give them a try. And you can't beat the discounts. You have either 20 to 30% off. I'll leave a direct link in my description box if you are interested with the discounts on the different sizes. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day.
and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.